Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning how to fill in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, how to fill in Excel. Now, Autofill in Excel is a feature where you can add some series automatically using Excel. For example, let us imagine that you wanted to add index numbers, right? So starting from 1 to 10. So manually you will be typing in the numbers and you'll be doing it, right? So instead of this, what if I said you there was a simple way where Excel will fill all the data for you, right? So just start with 1, 2 and Select these two cells and you can see the flash logo over here, right? So that's the indication that Excel has understood your pattern and it is ready to fill the remaining numbers. So as long as you drag this logo or that ending part where you have a small square box that will fill all the numbers until where you have dragged it. So that's how autofill works. And you might be wondering, will it work only for numbers? No, it will also work on some logics as well. Okay, this was the first part. Let us also look at some other tricks with autofill. Now, most of the time you might be just adding one number and try to drag that cell and the result is it will copy the same number all the time, right? So you can change it by clicking on this menu. You can click on fill series and it will change to series. And this was one more trick with numbers. Now getting back to the next type. So let us imagine now the next type of series you want to add as weeks in a day, right? So you'll be having Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So you can also do the series of weekdays using autofill in Excel as well. So drag that cell and it will give you all the days or weekdays in a week. Now let's try January and this will give you the months in a year in the shortcut way right since you just added the first three letters of the month it will recognize the pattern and it will do the same for you now let us try the full names of months right and now let's try to drag it it will fill all the full names of all the months now let's try the dates so let us imagine that this is the first day of the current year right it will now give you all the dates of that current month or until the end of the year as well there you go now let us imagine that your manager tells you to add the dates of working days in the month of january so how can you do that it's simple all you need to do is select the cell go to the fill option select series and here select column wise since you want the dates and columns and here in the type select date date unit should be weekday and the stop value should be the next month right since your manager asked for the weekdays of january so your stop value will be the first of february press ok and there you go so since the first of january is friday it's selected over here and the rest two saturday and sunday are eliminated similarly we have all the dates here of working days only so that's how you use autofill in Excel. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on autofill in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.